Alright, so anyway, hello internet, welcome to It Builds Character number 20. Um, again, quick recap on what It Builds Character is. Um, or sorry, It Builds Character 20. It Builds Character number 24, my mistake. Uh, it's a show where every week I build various characters from pop culture. Sometimes they're characters from pop culture, comics, movies, anime. Uh, sometimes they're build suggestions, as this case is, is a level 20 character. And there's some wonky specifics to it. So I'm definitely going to need your guys' help for this, um, just to keep me honest as we go through. Uh, but basically, yeah, we build the characters typically at level 12. This is a specific circumstance where I'm building it at level 20. We also build using the standard array and only publish sources. Publish sources are anything that exists in a published Wizards of the Coast book or anything from Unarched Arcana. Sometimes I use Matt Mercer's classes, too, to cover things like gunslingers for characters that need to use guns. But other than that, that's pretty much the majority of uh, what I've got going on. So, tonight's build is a suggestion to build a 20th level character. I was very excited to build a 20th level character. Then came the caveat. A 20th level character with at least one level in every single class. And I will tell you up front, this is very difficult to do uh, with... Uh, standard array because for those of you who don't know how multi-classing works you need to have at least 13 in the given stat um let's go actually let's, why don't we just go look and i'll show you exactly what i mean so jump down to multi-classing so right here you can see this table to multi-class you need to have these statistics so you need to have it in the class that you want to multi-class into and the class that you are currently in so if you start off as a wizard and you're like okay well i have thir i don't have 13 intelligence but i started off as a wizard and now i want to multi-class into warlock but i have 13 charisma you need to have both of them so if you look at this to build a character that's at level 20 with at least one level in every class this character needs to have 13 in every single stat except for constitution so that sucks so i worked things out a little bit ahead of time to try and speed up the process so let's go ahead and start building our 20th level character uh then we're gonna basically here's the thing we're gonna build the character level wise and then the goal at least my own personal goal is to try and make this character as optimized given the shitty situation that they've been given by the person who requested this build. So, I'm gonna try to also avoid using magic items to totally override things. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our base stats, are gonna be this. We're gonna do eight constitution, folks. I know everybody's very excited to see that. Uh, and then, oh, God, then, so this is, sorry, this is, let's see, 15, 14, oops, 13, 12, and then I have to have 10 and 8. Did I screw this up? Oh, 10. Got it. So we're going to be a half elf just because of the number of stat boosts that it's going to give us. We're going to put a 12 in charisma. We're going to make the wisdom go up to... I'm sorry, we're going to make this was a 12. No, that was right. This is going to go up to a 16. And this is going to go to a 13. So now, at level 1, we have the capability to multi-class into everything but charisma-based classes. So that means no warlock, no bard, no sorcerer. No paladin at the moment. So, um, to make ourselves potentially the most optimized, I was originally going to say let's start with a rogue, so we start with four skills, so we can try to cover a lot of skill proficiencies. But, uh, I think it probably makes the most sense. Actually, we could start with a rogue. I was going to say to start as a fighter so we'd get heavy armor but we can get that from a cleric so we're gonna start as a rogue so rogue 
just gonna start abbreviating here. So we're gonna start as a rogue. So what do we get at rogue level one? Let us jump up to that. Oh, we should put in our stuff from our uh, from our race as well. So we've got uh, dark vision, sixty feet. We've got fey ancestry. So that is uh, immune, magic, sleep, advantage versus charms, and we do get two skill proficiencies. So we're gonna choose perception. And I think Arcana. Then we're gonna go check out what a rogue gets at level one. Which I should know off the top of my head, but I don't. So we're gonna get Expertise. So we're gonna get Thieves Can't. Thieves Can't. We're gonna get, uh, we'll put it in here. Sneak Attack. 1d6. We're gonna get Expertise and two skills. But most importantly, we get, uh, so we're gonna get Dex and intelligence and we're gonna get um, four skills so we're gonna choose uh, yep you're right thieves tools thank you Dova thieves can't thieves tools uh, so that's gonna be we're gonna choose stealth sleight of hand Acrobatics and insight. Now we're going to choose here um, expertise in these tools and stealth. So I'm going to. Oh, I spelled thieves wrong, didn't I? No, I didn't. Don't question yourself, Ted. Uh, all right, so that's going to be our first level, is Rogue. Now, let's start our multi-classing fiasco till we hit every level, one in every level, and then we'll come back around. So, oh, I didn't think to grab this. So let's go ahead and grab a revised ranger. Okay. So we're going to be revised ranger because we're not going to kill ourselves here on how bad this could be. So we have enough to multi-class into ranger at the moment. So next is going to be ranger one. So what do we get for multi-classing? First of all, we have to check over here as well because I do think we get something else. So multi-classing, when we multi-class into ranger, we get light armor, medium armor, shield, simple and martial weapons, and one skill from the class list. So we're going to get one skill here from this list. So we're going to choose athletics. So now we have athletics proficiency from being a ranger, level one. What else do we get at level one here for being a ranger? We get favored enemy. This is going to be a long one, folks, just because we have so much shit to do, and we have to choose spells for some of these, so just keep that in mind. Favored stealth, what the hell am I doing? Favored enemy. Um, so, plus two, we're going to choose humanoids, because uh, I'm angry at the world for making me build this, make this build. So, humanoids. Um, humanoids. So it's going to be plus two. That's not how you spell humanoids. Humanoids plus two damage to uh, plus two damage uh, with weapon attacks. With weapon attacks. What else? Uh, advantage on survival checks. We're also going to get Natural Explorer, which is good. Th these two right here alone is a pretty decent uh, setup we've got going. So Natural Explorer, ignore, 
Uh, goblinoids do count as humanoids. Uh, basically, I don't have the monster manual open, but yes, they would. Well, actually, I have a monster manual right here. So if I were to flip to the goblins in the monster manual here, small humanoid goblinoid is the subclass of humanoid. So yes, it counts. It also counts against elves, drow, dwarves, you know, anything, uh, I think even uh, kobolds are considered humanoids, I believe, too. They're humanoids, dragon, I believe. Um, ignore difficult terrain. Also, how's the music, guys? Too loud, or is it good? Uh, advantage versus initiative. Um, on first turn of combat, advantage and attack rolls against creatures. No, I can First turn, combat, advantage, on attacks versus creatures who have not done yet. The benefit here is that means we have advantage on initiative. On the first turn in initiative, we should be able to get sneak attack easily, automatically, if we go against someone who hasn't gone already. Um... I'm not even going to bother, uh, I'm going to just say, um, miscellaneous wilderness benefits for party, because this is going to take forever. So that is our first level of ranger. Cool. So then we can just put down here right now, uh, we'll, we'll come back. Okay. So now we have rogue, we have ranger. What else can we do? We can do wizard, or we can, oh, you know what, let's just do wizard now. So we've got wiz one. Because as a wizard, did I close my player's handbook? I did, didn't I? All right, well, let's open the player's handbook again. Um, because we're not gonna ch make any real tough decisions as a wizard, so. Races we don't need. Here we go. So, wizard. Okay. So, as a first level wizard, we don't get anything for multiclassing into wizard, I don't believe. No, nothing. Okay. So, we're gonna get three cantrips. Two first level spells. We're gonna know six spells and we have arcane recovery. Um, so we're gonna say all. <laughs> so we're not actually gonna have enough room for all of the things we're gonna have. So we're gonna have three cantrips. Press to digitation. Press to digitation. He's gonna get booming blade. Booming blade. He's gonna get minor. A mage hand. Alright, so those are our three wizard cantrips. Uh, I guess I should put in parentheses here. Wiz, because this is going to matter. He's going to have. Um, I'm going to go with Arcane Recovery. On a short rest once per day, recover up to uh, half your wizard level in spell slots, minimum one. Cool. So then we get. Yeah, we get six first level spells. Okay, what are we gonna take? We're gonna take shield. Wizard. We're gonna take find familiar. Wizard. We're gonna take um, absorb elements. Wizard. Uh, so we need 
three more spells. The only benefit is I'm going to attempt to not make him a caster. Uh, the main bulk of levels after this, I think it's just going to be fighter, so I don't kill myself for making all these things. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to try to pick spells that don't really rely too much on our um, on our spellcasting ability so that we can get away with things. Oh, we're going to take the tech magic. Uh, wizard. Yeah, we're going to probably... He's going to have a lot of ritual stuff. He's going to have identify. Wizard. And that's what? One, two, three, four, five. Um... Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, well, I'm trying to pick ones. So, uh, yeah, identifies on there. Unseen servant is possible. Um, hmm. Basically, I want to try to get him as many rituals as I can. That'll be useful here. Uh, so we're going to go... What ones are... Do you have any other good ones here? Um, uh, we'll go comprehend languages. Because it's a ritual. Comprehend languages. Wizard. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, wizard's done. All right, next, uh, Cleric. Okay. So what are we gonna get as a first level Cleric? Which type of Cleric are we gonna be? That's the tricky part. So, if we were to go Knowledge Domain, we'd get some more skill proficiencies. Um, which wouldn't be a bad thing. We'd be able to pretty much... This guy's going to be great at skills. He's probably going to have almost all of them. Um, uh, command and identify. If we go life domain, he gets proficiency with heavy armor. And he gets bless and cure wounds prepared all the time. As well as additional healing for people, which is not bad. Light domain, um, he's going to get... Uh, his little warding flare ability. Nature domain is not going to be too useful for us, although we will get a skill proficiency. I always love Tempest, um, so we may possibly go for Tempest domain uh, because I do like uh, the benefits of martial weapons and heavy armor. Um, but at the same time, war domain may not be bad because um, we get bonus action attacks which is something equal to our wisdom modifier, so it's not a ton, but bonus action attacks uh, are, you know, that's, that's a good thing to have all the time. If we go and take a look in Xanathar's, because I did see that dub uh, you mentioned. No, I'm not only using Player's Handbook. Uh, I was just looking at Player's Handbook um, because it was right in front of me. Um, so if we go Forge, that's Identify and Searing Smite, so we can swap out identify as a wizard spell and choose something else that'll give us heavy armor and smith's tools um the end of a long rest touch one non-magical object that is a suit of armor or simple magic weapon make it a plus one or a plus one that's not bad grave is um oh man that is a funky what happened there oh there we go spare the dying is a cantrip and the extra healing and then the only other one that we could possibly look at, which we'll see if I have it available right here. If not, we'll get it. Um, we have it available here. I don't, but we can make it available. So let's go over here. Let's get the Sword Coast Adventures Guide. And we'll just do a real quick look at the Arcana Domain Cleric and see if that changes our mind at all. 5th edition, um, for Sword Quest Adventures Guide. I'm downloading a Sword Quest Adventures Guide at the moment. Um, so I'm not, I'm not disagreeing 
with Forge. Uh, because we do have martial weapon proficiency now through being a ranger, uh, we don't need to get martial weapons. Um, we don't technically even need heavy armor as we do have a 16 uh, dexterity, so that's something to think about. We're going to need all the books because we're probably going to be dipping around for some of the other classes like Warlock and, and Sorcerer. Um, the process of... Let me try to re-download here. I copy the Sword Ghost Adventures Guide. I think that gives us Wizard Cantrips. It'll give us two Wizard Cantrips based off of our Wisdom, which isn't bad. And it'll give us Proficiency in Arcano, which we could then swap to get something else. Because we do have a fair few skills at the moment. Um, which is nice. Uh, and we are going to get a handful more as we go through this. So let's just check. We don't get anything funky for being a, for getting a level in Cleric. I think we just get medium armor. Light, medium armor, shields. Got it. So right now, the current winners for Cleric is a toss-up between War for martial weapons, or for heavy armor and bonus action attacks, which is right now one bonus action attack per, uh, per long rest? Per long rest, which isn't too great. Or actually four just kind of winning based off of that. At the end of a long rest, making something magical that wasn't magical, and then also giving us Smith's tools, identify saving smite. So right now that's the winner. Sword Coast Adventures Guide is taking forever to download. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Death Domain. I actually have the ability to make a Death Domain character that's Adventure League legal. And I was, like, all pumped to do it. And then I really sat down and looked through it. And I was like, I'd rather have access to Oathbreaker Paladin. Um, but I don't. So. Um, yeah, Arcane Domain. It's got Magic Missile and... Now, let's go Forge. You sold me on Forge. We'll go Forge, so we're going to jump back here, and we're going to swap out Identify, because we don't need that as a wizard spell, because we always have it prepared as a cleric now. So we're going to have, instead, uh, hmm. let's see. Real, real quick check through it here. Make sure we don't miss anything that's important. Alright, we're gonna make this, this is gonna be sleep instead. Sleep. We're gonna go here and we're gonna get some cantrips. Alright, so cantrips are we gonna get mending as a cleric. As a cleric. We're gonna get guidance. Alright. Gonna get. One more. Alright, three is a cleric. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we're gonna get... I don't know. Mm. Let's just check real quick on our list here. Uh, we get... Could do Sacred Flame. Mm. Let's just do Spare the Dying. Okay, so we're gonna get... Identify Cleric. Searing Sniped. Cleric. Okay, what else do we get? So we're gonna get... Uh, Smith's... Okay, we got Blessing of the Forge. Blessing of the Forge. Once per long rest, turn a non magic armor or weapon into a plus one. Then we currently have one level in Cleric, 
and a 13 wisdom so we can prepare two cleric spells. So, on our two prepared cleric spells, we're gonna prepare first level cleric spells. Shield of Faith. So that takes care of a level of cleric. Let's just make that cleric. Druid one. Okay, druid. Two cantrips. Okay. Druid cantrips. to this guy. He had some serious identity issues. Um, okay, so our druid is gonna get which ones here? He's gonna get yeah, he's gonna take shape water. I'm just gonna start putting these on the same line because we're gonna start running out of room. Um, mold earth. Let's combine some of these here. So, guidance. So he's gonna get two. Uh, no, he can cast two, so he can only prepare two first level druid spells. Uh, okay, what are we gonna get? Uh, okay, he's gonna get good berry because that doesn't. Good berry. I get some healing now. Mm. Good berry. Fog cloud. Druid. Okay, and we don't have to choose anything for our type of druid, so that is beautiful. But we do speak druidic now, so we gotta go add that in because that's something specific. Uh, druid. Oops. Druidic. And then also herbalism kit. Problem is, now we can't wear metal armor because we have a level of druid. Which is dumb. Because I guess we just won't have access to our druid abilities. Which is okay. I'm okay with that. Anything for multi-classing into druid? I don't believe so. My armor medium. Okay. So that's done. Um, oh, we finally got the Sword Coast Adventure Guide to download here. We didn't actually get it to download yet. All right, let's get this out of here. Hmm. Where to next? How about Monk? Okay. Monk. 
Monk one. Okay, so well, let's check. Do we get anything for multi-classing into monk? Probably nothing. Simple weapons and short swords. Alright, so nothing we don't already have. Uh, Wild Shape is level 2. Which is okay by me. Um, oh, do you... Hang on. Hang on. Before I go too much further... Okay, so we don't actually get the skills unless we, so we don't get herbalism kit like I thought we did, because you don't, it doesn't state that you get herbalism kit, so you only get part of it, so you, like, you get thieves tools if you multi-class into rogue, and you get a musical instrument if you multi-class into bard, so we don't actually get the herbalism kit. Not that that's like a huge loss, but. Okay, so that's that, so let's go back to monk, sorry, getting distracted. Um, so what do we get for one level of monk? Alright, we're gonna get a d4 on our martial arts, and we get unarmored defense, so right now, it's our dex plus our wisdom mod if we don't wear armor, so we're gonna start right there at a 14 armor class, this is obviously gonna be augmented. Um, so we're gonna get unarmor, uh, let's just up here so we know we're gonna get this too so we're gonna hit unarmored defense we're gonna say equals 10 plus dex plus wisdom martial arts uh, which is dex instead of strength um, okay so Decks instead of strength for unarmed slash monk weapons. Uh, increased unarmed damage bonus action unarmed strike. Bonus action with an arm strike. You can make an arm strike as bonus action. Cool. All right, so that's our level of monk handled. That was nice and easy. All right, barbarian. So that's gonna give us unarmored defense equals ten plus dex plus con. Um, and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna say rage. <sighs> hit points are gonna be a nightmare to calculate hit points for this class. Um, don't get anything for barbarian. Shields and simple weapons. Okay, and barbarian is just strength. So we're good. Yeah, so the only thing we can't do is bard, pally, sorcerer, and warlock. Okay, that's what I thought. So. Barbarian. So, rage. Uh, two. Per long rest. Increase damage by two to melee attacks. Using strength. Weapons, uh, have a resistance to blood, slash, pierce, slash, 
Flash, damage, advantage, on strength, saving throws, checks. Okay, so that was our level of Barbarian, to handle, so, right, where are we at now? Rogue, Ranger, Wizard, Cleric, Druid, Monk, Barbarian. So I think we're just, is that, is that all of them? Except for the Charisma ones? Oh, and Fighter. Fighter one. So fighter is gonna give us second wind. Um, one d ten plus fighter level nine bonus action short recharge fight. Uh, Fighting style, uh, defense, this one, AC, okay, we don't get anything for multi-classing into fighter, I don't think either. Skill for Bard. Uh, no, skill for Ranger. And then a skill from Rogue. We already got that. Alright. So now, we're at the point where all of our... Oh, and we're going to have... I don't know what background we're going to pick. It doesn't really matter. Um, Outlander? Hermit? explain why this guy is such a weirdo. Um, Hermit, Medicine, Religion, Outlander, Athletic, Survival, Sage. I don't know. Let's make him a Hermit. So that gives him proficiency in Medicine and Religion. Two that we don't have. Alright. Getting all them skill proficiencies. Oh, there's Sword Coast Adventures Guide, finally. So, just because we didn't check it. Cleric. Tech Magic, Magic Missile. Two Wizard Cantrips to use Wisdom and Arcana Skill. Yeah, so it's not really anything that was worth it for us. Okay. So now we get to start multi-classing, or, or singular classing, I guess, into a class to get some experience points. Mm. Ability score improvements. So we're going to take four levels of fighter, because I said so. so. Fighter, four. And at four, we're going to raise our charisma. Oh, wait. This was our starting charisma? No. Yeah. Let me see my little build that I've got over here. Yep, so we're going to take our Charisma to 13, our Wisdom to 14. So now we have the ability to multi-class into every single class there is, but we also go over here, because we now have Action Surge. And we can now also prepare one more Druid spell and one more Cleric spell per day. So, um, I'm going to go over here. Take a look at this. Druid, one more spell per day. We're gonna choose jump. Get ourselves some spells that don't require jump. Okay. And then also to add to cleric, we're gonna choose um, sanctuary. Sanctuary. Okay, so that solves that. Alright, and 
one. Oh, we have to choose a fighter archetype. All right. So now we got to choose a fighter martial archetype at this point. Now we have all the books here. So we could go to Xanathar's and see what we could get from here. I'm not really crazy about much of anything here. We could take... Uh, if we took Cavalier, we'd get a few more skill proficiencies. And some benefits to being mounted in combat. As well as the Unwavering Mark, which is not a bad thing. Take Samurai and get ourselves another skill proficiency. And Fighting Spirit, which isn't bad. Um, but I honestly am kind of leaning towards Champion because it's easier. And it will benefit every class we do. So. I think we're going to be a champion fighter. Because I said so. So. Champion, or what is this? Improved critical? Is that what we call uh, Improved critical, yeah. Improved critical. Crit on a 19 or 20. Okay. Now we can start adding, now that we've done that, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11 levels of classes. So now we're going to go add Bard 1. That's going to give us another skill proficiency of our choice. Uh, we're going to choose Persuasion. It's going to give us a uh, musical instrument. get uh, Bardic Inspiration uh, Chamad Per Long Rest uh, Add 1d6 to uh, Oh Bonus Action to Add to 1d6 to Ally for Attack Roll, ability check, saving throw. We're also going to get two bard cantrips. So let's go get our bard spells here. We're going to choose message. Message. And. Minor illusion. That says bard. And then we're gonna know two first level spells as a bard. Um, four. Great. Alright, four spells known for a bard. We're gonna have to combine some of these on one line here. So why don't we just go do that right now? Gonna still do sorcerer and warlock. Identify searing smite. Cut the put it right there. I just do this. Shield of faith. Plus sanctuary. So four bard spells. Okay, uh, what do we get for, what are we going to do for our bard here? Our bard is going to take Disguise Self, Featherfall, uh, choose Unseen Servant already? No, so bard's going to get Unseen Servant, and... Wizard has sleep. spells. 
Okay. Now, let's go do the easiest level we'll take is Paladin 1. Um, it's going to be play on hands, 5 points, uh, divine sense, 1 plus chama to see fiends, celestials, undead within 60 feet. Okay. We're working our way through here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, uh, 12, 13 levels. So I think all we're missing now is Sorcerer. You can also shorten that to just PAL. And we can make this BRD. And then we got to do Sorcerer 1. Source 1. <sighs> okay. Now we got to be careful on what we pick because the Sorcerer gets their stuff at level 1. So now first we got to get 6 cantrips. Right, or 4 cantrips rather. And two spells known. So four cantrips for sorcerer. Great. What are we gonna take for that? Okay, friends. Hey Jerry, how's it going? Uh, we are working through a twentieth level character build that is. Pretty ridiculous, uh, because it's got to have one level in every class. So, uh, other than that, though, things are going well. We're going to take friends, just control flames, and we have booming blade, yes. We're going to take... Uh, Green Flame Blade. Green Flame Blade. And sorcerer. Two Sorcerer spells known for first level. Um, color Spray. And Magic Missile. Sorcerer. Alright, so what are we going to take as our first level of Sorcerer? Because that's going to affect things. So let's see what we got here in Xanathar's. Divine Soul will give us another spell. It will give us uh, 2d4 to attack save, or saving throw or failed ability check. Shadow will give us dark vision out to 120 feet. Um, uh, so that's, and then the ability to possibly come back from death. And then Tempest Magic gives us a 10 foot fly speed that doesn't provoke attacks of opportunity. Um, and we know Primordial. Player's Handbook is going to give us Dragon Magic, which is going to give us an AC that we're probably not going to use. Uh, additional hit point per level, although we're only going to have one. And then Tides of Chaos is... surge <sighs> all right so we're not gonna do wild magic because it's dumb dragon magic gives us one more hp you know draconic language I, we're not using a player's handbook sorcerer so i'm leaning towards shadow because you know let's do shadow sorcerer all right so this dark vision here is now 120 feet 
go over here. We're not going to hit level 3, so we don't have to worry about that. Strength of the Grave we have. Um, strength of the Grave. Okay, and that's going to give us... Uh, damage takes you to 0 HP. Make a Charisma saving throw. Okay. Damage... Uh, Make a charisma save, which is DC five plus the damage taken plus damage taken on a success on a success. Uh, to one HP instead, uh, unless by radiant or, or critical hit, <sighs> unless by radiant or crit hit. This was, I think this was. This used to be unlimited back in the day. Yeah, all right. You used to be able to do this an unlimited number of times. Now it's just once per long rest. <sighs> okay. So that's Sorcerer. We're at the last level of multi-classing, which is going to be Warlock. Oh, when we're out of character. We hit the character limit. <laughs> w1. Can't even get the 1 in there. So we're going to have one level of Warlock. We don't get anything. We just get... We just get uh, Light Armor. Do we have that? Yeah, all right. One level of Warlock. So, we're gonna get two more cantrips. Hooray! So, or two Warlock cantrips. Well, we might as well just take Eldritch Blast, even though we're not gonna be very good at it, because why not? Uh, and then one more. Up here. We're gonna give him magic stone because it's dumb. No, it's not dumb, but uh, it doesn't require anything, so this is warlock. We're also gonna know two first level warlock spells. Let's see what we're gonna get. What kind of warlock are we gonna be? We're only gonna take one level in this. Fiend is really not a bad way to go. Temporary hit points each time we kill something. Um, well, let's jump over to Xanathar's. So if we go Celestial, we get Light and Sacred Flame, and very minimal healing. Um, or Hexblade. I do like Hexblades. But at the same time, I also don't feel like writing down all the information for the Hexblade's curse. At the same time, too, we also crit on a 19 to 20 all the time because we're a champion fighter. Um... So, um, I think Dex is our highest stat too, so the Hex Warrior ability doesn't really come into play that much. Yeah. Okay, so we're probably just going to go Fiend Pack. Or uh, Fiend Patron, rather. For our temporary hit points. So, as far as our spells go, our first level Warlock spells... We're going to take Hex, and we're going to take, hmm, this is tricky, Expeditious Retreat, we are full of spells, uh, Expeditious we are probably the most under-optimized class in the game because we have built ourselves to try to use only spells and only have access to spells that don't really require us to use our stats because we're in such a wonky situation. All right. So then we're going to go Dark One's Blessing. Oh, 
Axel, it's one of every... It's level 20 with one level in every class. This was the suggestion, so that's the fun part. Dark One's Blessing. Uh, drop a computer to zero. Yeah, that, exactly. Can't wait till I have to calculate HP. It's gonna be awesome. So that's one, two, I'll have to zoom in a little bit. Why don't we just put these next to each other so we can get a little space back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We now have fifteen levels in this, so we're gonna go to fighter six. That gives us seventeen levels. So now we're gonna have extra attack. Extra attack. Yeah, we're going to see how what level spellcasting we're at once we actually get down that far. Uh, and we're going to get another ability score improvement. So for this ability score improvement, I love that we have 8 constitution too, by the way. I think that that's a wonderful, wonderful build for us. Um, <coughs> I think... I think we're going to... I'm going to hate myself for this, but we're just going to do this. I'm going to go 14 and 14 try to even ourselves out a little bit here for our sixth level so that's gonna give us actually no more it's just gonna be one more uh yeah i know <laughs> this class is not well built i mean i could put my constitution at a 10 which wouldn't be the worst thing but let's see. Where are we at level-wise? Do we have enough? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Let's go. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's go bard to twenty because why not? Um, and we're gonna make this go up to ten. So this is our stats now. We can actually lock these in. The thing I'm not gonna do, folks, um, giving you the heads up up front, I'm not doing magic items, because this is a 20th level character. If somehow this moron managed to make it to level 20, they would have so many magic items that probably these stats wouldn't matter because they'd probably take weapons and items that boosted their statistics. like. Gauntlets of Ogre Strength, or a Headband of Intellect, or an Amulet of Life, most likely to give themselves 19 Constitution. But the reason we went that, we're going to go uh, Jack of All Trades, right? Jack of All Trades. So, half proficiency bonus to all ability checks. Ability checks. We're going to get expertise and two more skills, which is good. Um, we're going to go... Uh, so we're going to get cutting words. Uh, so that's going to be... Uh, reaction. Subtract 1d6 from... Attack roll. Damage. Uh, ability 
check. Um, but more importantly, we're going to get that expertise and we're going to get three more skill proficiencies, which was the thought process there. So, we're going to get investigation. We're going to get deception. And we're going to get animal. So we're pretty much proficient in almost every single thing out there. And two more expertise. So he's already got these tools. Stealth. We're gonna go perception. And one more. Mm. So we're gonna go persuasion because somehow he made it this far in life he's got to be at least somewhat charismatic okay so now we got to go add some more things we're gonna get another bard cantrip so let's go here bring another bard cantrip oh, what do we even have left to take uh, yeah he uh he's not very good he made it without survival somehow i mean we could swap that uh, he was a hermit, so I feel like they should get survival. Um, maybe we'll swap out. You know what? He's not good with animals. He's good at surviving. There we go. Done. So, what is this other bard cantrip going to be? It is going to be... We're going to give him Vicious Mockery. What the hell? back here. We're going to the bard. And we're going to see what we can get. So we're going to get two... Let's see. Let's see. Expertise. Song. Oh, we have Song of Rest. Can't forget Song of Rest. Um, song of Rest. 26. And then he's going to have a total of seven spells known. So we're gonna keep it easy. We're gonna learn another first level and then two second because I don't feel like thinking this much into this. So our other first level spell as a bard. Two, three, four. One more first level spell. Actually, you know what? Let's maybe he actually does learn some second. Let's go see what he's gonna get second level. Um hmm. Gotta be mindful of what we choose. Invisibility. Because that works out okay. For us. In the long run. Um, what else? We're gonna take knock. Okay, well we get one more. We'll have say we swapped out one of our lower levels, so we get our two. And we swapped out one of our lowers for something. And then silence. These are all bard spells. My favorite part about, did I, did I make them all? I did. So because they're all 14, that's the best part, is that everybody's spell attack bonus and spell save DC is exactly the same. So spell attack bonus is eight. And spell save DC is, what is that? That's eight plus eight is 16. So I don't even have to do any math. So this is gonna be uh, int, whiz, charisma. It's all three, so that's great. Um, we got a couple of second level spells, so now let's figure out what our spell slot situation is. So, multi-classing. Okay. So we got four levels in Bard. That's gonna put us at fourth level here. We've got a level in Sorcerer. We have a level in Wizard. We have a level in Cleric. 
we have a level in Druid. So that is eight level slots. Uh, so four, three, three, two. And then we have our one Warlock slot, which we get back on a short rest. So let's just double check that one more time. Four levels in Bard, one for Wizard, uh, one for Cleric, one for Druid, one for Sorcerer. Yeah, because we don't have enough in anything else today. We don't have Ranger spells, or we don't have Paladin spells. Okay, so we have up to fourth level slots, but we can only cast first and second level spells. Um, okay. So, now we can start filling this in. So this is a 2. This is a 9. This is a 0. This is an 8. This is a 2, and this is a 2. Initiative is a 6. Speed is 30. This is going to be 9. This is going to be five. This is going to be a pain in the ass, is what this is going to be. It's going to be eight. It's going to be eight. Eight. History is two. Three is five. Insight is eight. Intimidation is five. Investigation is eight. Actually, this isn't going to be that bad. Eight. Nature is five. Perception is. 6 and 6 is 12. This is a 14. Performance is a 5. Persuasion is a 14. This is an 8. Sleight of hand is an 8. Stealth is a 15. And survival is an 8. Okay. And our passive perception is 24. Guy's pretty perceptive, all things considered. Um, so my thought was I had to make a guy that could somehow survive everything, right? So right now he's unarmored. So his unarmored is actually uh, 15. But he can wear plate mail because he has the... Actually, he can't wear plate mail because I think plate mail strength is 15. Uh... So he could wear something else. We'll see what he ends up with. But uh, those are his stats. And then we've got... Oh, he has proficiency in Thieves Tools. So his Thieves Tools checks are 15. And then whatever these ones are. This is Charisma. So this is 8. This is also 8. Probably for whatever it ends up being. Um, okay. Let's do some experience, or some hit points here. This ought to be fun. All right, so at first level, he's gonna get, he started off as a rogue, so he's gonna get eight hit points. The only benefit is we don't have to worry about adding anything to it. So then he's got eight at first level, then he's got a level of ranger. He's gonna add six. He's going to add a wizard, which is four. Cleric is five. Druid is five. Monk is five. Barbarian is seven. Then we have six times six is 36. Then we have four in bard. Four times five is 20. We have Paladin is 6, Sorcerer is 4, Warlock is 5. 111 hit points. So that's our HP for our whatever this guy's situation is. Um, okay, wow. We're going to give this guy just... Uh, Chances are he's going to have a 20 AC, because given all this shit, he's going to have plate mail. Or, no, he's not going to plate mail. We just said he's not going to have plate mail. Let's see what he's going to have. He might end up having plate mail. He might just not care. Um, what the hell is equipment? I just scroll past.
past that. Oh, it's before this. Armor. Yeah, you need strength of 15. So we could go chain and have 16. Okay, thank you. Love you too. Half plate is... Oh, we're gonna go half plate. Half plate, yeah. And then he's also gonna have a shield. So we're gonna go 19 AC. Um, I mean, he's in a shitty spot, right? Like, there's no denying that. Um, and this arm strike is gonna be nothing. And then we're gonna say weapon. And it's gonna be uh, probably a rapier. So it's gonna be 9. It's gonna be 1d8 plus 3. Oh, and he has defensive fighting style, so it is 20. So, alright. All this we knew from the beginning that this character was kind of a shit show. So, I'm not like I said, I'm not even gonna bother with magic items. Cause yes, this character would have a butt ton of magic items at level 20. Right? We probably would have gained an I'm positive we would have gotten an amulet of life somewhere in there most likely to put our constitution at a 19 so we could have hp um this number would significantly skyrocket it would be i think was at 80 hp more four per level um we would get so he'd have 80 more hp which is 191 hp which would not be a bad thing um and then we might have taken some other abilities like uh i don't know you might have taken something like, and like I said, a headband of intellect wouldn't be bad. Then our wizard spells would be okay, but we don't have anything that really uses our abilities. Uh, so possibly something to boost our strength, but we're using dex-based weapons mostly. So really just anything that would help him be better in general, like a luck stone, right? Probably like a luck stone, and then like a cloak of protection, or a cloak of... Uh, uh, cloak of protection or a sentinel shield or uh cloak of displacement uh you know what fuck it i said i wasn't gonna do it i'm gonna say we're just gonna do it right now we're gonna give him attunement items amulet of health boom amulet of health con uh attunement con uh, attunement con goes to 19 there. So this is going to be now 19. This is going to be a 4. Now he's not going to suck at his concentration checks. And yeah, 4 per level, that's 80. This is 191. Now he's way better off than he was before. Um, we are going to give him a Luck Stone. Luck Stone. This is a Tomb. Dungeon Master Guide, because I'm just going to see if anything else jumps out at me. Treasure, and I think that's plus one to all saving throws and ability checks. I'll just make sure. Luck Stone. Or is it Stone of Good Luck? Something like that. Yeah. That's what I thought. There is Stone of Good Luck. Plus one to ability checks and saving throws. Okay. Well, initiative is an ability check. So seven. Saving throws. So this is three. This is ten. Five. Nine. Three. Three. And this will be fun. Look at this. Look at how crazy his stats are going to be here at the end here. So this is going to be seven. Nine. Like he's gonna, he's a skill monkey, like for days here. You know, you get him into any situation, he's pretty good at just about anything. He's perceptive as shit. Like he can't do shit in combat, but like he'd be a, he'd be an okay NPC for your game. I would never want to play as this character, but uh, this should actually. Be
So, that is pretty solid. Amulet of Health, a Luck Stone, and then he should have... Alright, we're gonna say, at, really, he's level 20, right? He made it this far. He's gonna have plus 2 half plate. Uh, so this is gonna go up by 2. That's reasonable. We're gonna give him a Sentinel Shield. I mean, he might, he might even have a plus 1 shield at this point. Sentinel Shield, so that's advantage on perception checks actually he doesn't need that because his perception is so freaking high and he already has advantage on initiative from being a, a revised ranger let's go take a look let's, i mean honestly he probably would have found one of the books um do we have any funky shields we want to give him just give him a plus two shield what the hell right plus two shield so, what the hell? We're at a 24 AC. This guy is a monster. Um, what the hell? Why don't we give him a plus two rapier while we're at it? Plus two rapier. Sure. Why not? This is 11. This is D8 plus five. He's not going to do a ton of damage ever from any of the stuff that he has. But he's, he's ready to survive forever <laughs> on a lot of things here. Um... So what else do we get? We'll give him one more item. We'll give him one more attunement magic item. See what we want to give him. Um, hmm. Give him a ring of protection. Give him plus one AC. Uh, yeah, I know. We give him a ring of protection or a cloak of protection, give him plus one AC, plus one to all of his saving throws, wouldn't be a bad thing to have. And that's not like crazy, I mean, he's this high of a level, he should have something probably legendary at this point. Um, if you're gonna have a legendary item, you should get it by the time you're level 20. Uh, hmm. The thing is, he technically qualifies for pretty much every item, because... He's got a level of every class. Um, hmm. Let's give him an Iun Stone. Let's give him a legendary... Yeah, right, bag of... Yeah, what the hell, he should have a bag of holding. He would, that's an uncommon item. We can have a bag of holding. Let's give him an Iun Stone and really fuck everything up. Should we give him the Iun Stone that raises his proficiency bonus by one? That would be a fun one. Where's that one? Yeah! Iun Stone of Mastery, last item. Why not? Let's just make it fun. Oh, let me go with the dogs in one second, guys. One sec. I don't really, really like retyping those numbers that much, but it's fun to see this character not be, like, he's not the worst. He's pretty bad. <laughs> I just want to check one thing. Round it down. Yeah, what the hell. Let's give him the Iron Stone of Mastery. Just because I, I have a glutton for punishment here. Just because I want to see these numbers. He doesn't even really need, like, that whole... I was like, if I could have gotten him high enough levels in Rogue. And the only... The benefit of all of this, too, for me, is that I've done this now. One of my upcoming uh, builds is the highest... There's the most optimized character with four multi-classes which is much better than this so multi-classing four times is a lot better than multi-classing 12 times uh, 
I mean, you're going to have a hard time finding this guy if he wants to stay hidden. So this is going to be 26. This is now 11, 10, right? 3, 7, and 1, yeah. 10, 12. There we go. So, well, this is 16. Nine. He's going to be pretty good at getting into stuff if he doesn't just use knock. So, alright. Oh, and his proficiency bonus goes up, so these all go up. So. Oh, you're right, he does. He has magical secrets. So he gets two more spells. You're right, because it's magical secrets. No, magical secrets is six. For, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's six for College of Lore. He gets the three skill proficiencies, cutting words, he gets the other magical secrets at six. Uh, so, one more quick once over of our level 20 character with a minimum of one level in every class. His stats are not bad, and again, a reminder this was all built with standard array. So, technically, if you were this much of a glutton for punishment and had access to these magic items, this could be your adventurer's league character probably not with the amount of items but uh 14 16 19 14 14 14 he's got skills for days right this guy is not unskilled by any means he's got a passive perception of 26 so good luck trying to hide on him his minimum stealth rolls an 18 if he rolls a nat one on a stealth his saves are mediocre um, he's got a 24 armor class, plus 7 to initiative, 191 hit points. Uh, his unarmed strikes do a d4, uh, and he's got a plus 2 rapier, and he does sneak attack as well. He's got dark vision to 120 feet, he's immune to magical sleep, has advantage versus charms, proficiency in thieves tools, stealth, perception, persuasion. His favorite enemy is humanoids, so he does an extra 2 damage to them, um, has advantage on survival checks, he ignores all difficult terrain. Has advantage on initiative, and in the first round of combat, has advantage on all creatures who haven't gone yet. So advantage on initiative, when you have a plus 7 to your initiative, isn't a bad situation. He has the Blessing of the Forge, or Arcane Recovery. So once per sh once on a short rest, during a once per long rest, he can get one wizard slot, or one spell slot, first level spell slot back. Uh, Blessing of the Forge, once per long rest, he can turn a non-magical suit of armor or weapon into a plus 1 armor or weapon. He has two forms of unarmored defense, none of which he's using. He uses strength instead of dex. Uh, he can't use either of these because he has his armor. Strength instead of dex for monk weapons and unarmed strikes. Um, so this is actually, yeah, that's right. This should actually be 11 because it's 3 plus 7 is 1. Yeah, so unarmed strike. There we go, and that's 10 plus 2. Yeah, okay, cool, we're good. Um, no, that's, I'm sorry, that is 10. What am I doing? I was adding plus one to that. Um, so he has rage, which he can use, but he can't because he's in heavy armor. Or no, he's in medium armor, so he can still rage. But the rage is pretty much only beneficial for the half uh, for the resistance that he would get because he uses a dexterity based weapon. So that doesn't really help him too much. He doesn't get that nice plus one to AC from uh, his fighting style. His action surge. He's two attacks. He crits on a 19 or 20, and he can action surge once per short rest. He can give out Bardic Inspiration, uh, Charisma Modifier times per long rest, which is only two. Um, to give a, D a D6 to an ally, he has Lay on Hands for five points, and Divine Sense three times. Uh, he has Strength of the Grave. When he hits zero hit points, he can make a Charisma save to try to drop to one HP instead. When he drops a creature to zero HP, he gets uh, a total of potentially three uh, temporary hit points. He has two attacks. Gets half of his proficiency bonus to every skill or, an ab or ability check. He has a d6 song of rest, and he can probably use his bardic inspirations for cutting words. Um, these are his magic items. Plus two half plate, plus two shield, plus two rapier, bag of holding, iron stone of mastery, plus one, a luck stone, and an amulet of health. And he has all of the spells, but he can't use any of his druid spells because he wears metal armor, so none of his druid spells work. They're just there because I had to have them. Uh, so none of his druid spells work. But you'll notice that his spell list is largely things that don't rely on him actually having to have his ability check. Like Prestidigitation, Booming Blade, and Mage Hand. 
Mendence, uh, Mendence, Mending, Guidance, and Spare the Dying. Shape Water, Mold Earth, you can't use those though. Uh, Message, uh, Minor Illusion. Vicious Mockery does use his ability. Uh, Friends, Gust, Control Flames, as does Green Flame Blade, and then Eldritch Blast and Magic Stone. Uh, then we've got, I mean, he's gonna be hard to hit, because he's got a fair amount of spell slots. He has that one Warlock slot per short rest, and he's got Shield, Find Familiar, Absorb Elements, Detect Magic, Sleep, Comprehend Languages, Identify, Searing Smite, Shield of Faith, Bless Sanctuary, Goodberry, Fog Cloud, Jump, Disguise, oh, which he can't use because those are Druid spells, uh, Disguise, Self, Feather Fall, Unseen Servant, Speak with Animals, Color Spray, Magic Missile, Hex, Expeditious Retreat, and then Invisibility, Knock, and Silence. And he has third and fourth level slots, of which he has no spells, but he can use those to cast, upcast his lower level spells that he does have. Um... Oh, I guess I didn't put in the ability score improvements that we had. Ability score improvements. Uh, improvements, which was plus one charm. Plus wisdom. Then it was plus one intelligence. Plus one wisdom. Oh, sorry, plus one charm. And then plus two charm. There we go, folks. Did it. I didn't want to do it, but I did it. Because I made a statement that I would uh, make uh, anything that anybody suggested for me to build. So. I'm done, folks. Thank you so much for everybody who came to hang out for this. This was something. Uh... I wouldn't ever play this character. I wouldn't recommend you try to do this. It was a fun thing to do as an experiment once, but I'm good. Like, uh, I would never, ever attempt to do this. And again, a lot of the wonky skill checks was just me having fun at the end and giving him a bunch of crazy magic items. Uh, but, hey, it is what it is. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate everybody coming out to hang out and working on this with me um, as it did help to make things a little bit more interesting and keep me occupied. Uh, be on the lookout in the next few days for... Uh, I did do an unboxing today of the Monster Menagerie 3 mini set and the case incentive, which is amazing. Uh, the case incentive is the best part. The minis were only okay. Um... And then also, if you're at PAX East next week, uh, I will be there all four days. Uh, and I will be there on a media badge. I'll be running around doing interviews and stuff. But if you happen to see me or swing by the D&D booth, uh, the D&D uh, uh, Ventures League area, which I will be around, uh, let me know and maybe we can uh, play together. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, you know what? If they're still going, I don't even know if they are. Let's find out. We might do a raid to our good friends, uh, the Venture Maidens, who just started streaming on their own Twitch channel for the first time. Uh, I believe that was tonight. So let's see if they're still playing. Uh, no, they're hosting uh, our good friends, Askren. So, uh, nope, they are not. So, anyway, guys, uh, I can, you know what? I can throw a raid over to him anyway. Create exploding dice. Let's see if that works. Uh, I don't know. Let me know if that went through, guys. I can never tell if these are actually working or not. Oh, there we go. Alright, night everyone.